In this video, I'll be doing an overview of Atomic's product lifecycle stages and how you can use them to build campaigns with a goal in mind. This is often overlooked when deciding on what type of campaigns to build, but figuring out what your product lifecycle stage is or what stage you are in it is very important to creating campaigns with specific targets. Now in Atomic, we make that super easy by including it in our campaign builder. And we've also added it to our ad manager, which I'll show you in a minute. But what does product lifecycle mean? Uh, let's just click through and I'll show you. Now in our campaign builder, we've got three different templates that you can see here, either launch, scale, or liquidate. And launch pretty much means what it says at launch, what you want to do is get as many impressions as possible. So that's why we've built this template to be designed uh, for the goal to be designed or geared towards making sure that you get as many impressions as possible. That's also the uh, other way to make sure that you get as much data as you possibly can when you are in, in that initial launch phase. The scale that you see here is geared towards a target ACoS, and that's your standard goal for most PPC campaigns is always gearing towards a target ACoS that you might have in mind. Uh, and then we've got liquidate, and liquidate simply means depleting the inventory. Each one of these has definitions below each one that you can review, but this is simply for maybe products that didn't do very well and you want to get rid of because you're paying uh, storage fees at FBA, FBM, your third-party warehouse, um, or maybe you've got a new version of the product and you just want to get rid of it. So these templates are designed to adjust Atomic's uh, bid suggestions and gears them towards different things other than just a target ACoS. Again, launch is going to gear you towards impressions to get you data and get you visibility, which is really important at launch. Scale is going to be towards a particular target ACoS. And liquidate is going to be for uh, focus on just sales. This is going to prioritize keywords that have conversions regardless of ACoS. This one's going to focus on keywords that have uh, high impressions regardless of sales or ACoS. It's also going to increase keywords so you get more impressions to them to see if you can get uh, again, more visibility and more data. If you've got keywords that you've done a lot of research on, or maybe you got keywords from a campaign that you've ran before and you have a target ACoS in mind, that's when you should go ahead and do this uh, or choose this one here. Um, otherwise, you might want to try just leveraging Atomic's uh, algorithms in the back end if you are either launching a brand new product or you just want to focus on getting rid of your inventory. So besides the campaign builder, uh, you don't have to take advantage of these templates just in the campaign builder. If you've got existing campaigns that maybe you've ported over uh, to Atomic once you've joined, then you can also adjust the bid algorithm here. Um, and what that says is simply that uh, it's a definition of each one of these, which is max impressions, target ACoS, and um, max orders, which again, it's just the three templates I showed you. So um, ACoS target is scale, and max impressions is launch, and max orders is liquidate. And if you adjust these, you can see this top one here is set to max impressions. Again, this means that the suggestions that are going to be for this particular campaign that you'll see here on the suggestions page are going to be geared towards those keywords that have the highest impressions or getting more impressions on keywords. Target ACoS is here 30%. If I wanted to change this, I could always do that here by, by clicking on that. But again, that's the default ACoS. Um, that's why you see 30% for most of these. And max orders is again focused on the just conversions, regardless of ACoS, as the um, as the algorithm. So that's why you don't see a target value here. The target value is really reserved for an ACoS target, and that's only this one here. So if you start uh, the launch, if you have a launch version of uh, campaigns, that's what you'll see here. Every campaign launched will have max impressions if you use that launch template, or if you just have if you, you change your, your uh, you can go between any of these whenever you want, but you'd start maybe at max impressions for launch. And then maybe after a few weeks of collecting data and you and, and getting, uh, being able to optimize the way you want, or you want to go to scale and go to focus on a target ACoS, that's when you would then switch this over to a target ACoS. Um, and then you could set your ACoS target there. 
And then again, max orders is kind of like the end of life of your product. If you've been running campaigns for a while and you want to just switch it to max orders so it's focused on just orders as the as the bid algorithm, you can do that there. That's the two different ways you could take advantage of the product lifecycle stages within Adtomic. Um, and we hope that uh, you find value in either building your campaigns using these templates or just adjusting your bid algorithm here in the ad manager. Anh chị đang bán hàng trên Amazon, Skybox cung cấp các dịch vụ dành cho các nhà bán hàng trên Amazon với mức giá cực kỳ ưu đãi. Vì đang tiếp brand với USBTO, từ Helium Ten, từ Jingle Scout, Logitech và Warehouse. Xem hình thông tin chi tiết dưới phần mô tả nhé. Thank you.